we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh, the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright Pretty good day sail. It's um, been a long day actually. We sailed, um, what do we do? 40, not 35 nautical miles, which is about 70 odd k's. Um, had good wind most of the way, but uh, we got picked up quite a bit of wind, like 25 something knots. Um, just gave me a bit of a surprise, but we got trucked along and then we got a different wind, got a messy sea, and ah, it was fun. Um, yeah, enjoyable trip, but we're actually, um, Luca and I are gone for a sail. I'm not sure whether I mentioned it, but we've just come for a sail for two or three days. Silka and Nina are in the hospital still, comfortable, air conditioning, and uh, rather happy there. Um, Nina's well on the way to recovery. She's, she's nearly there. She's actually just waiting out the last of her antibiotics. She was given the option to go back to the boat and come in every day for an antibiotic injection. She is over needles, so um, no injections for her. She wanted to stay there for another couple of days and get the antibiotics uh, intravenously uh, through her drip. And we're actually coming into the um, bay that Turkey's president, Erdogan, has his presidential palace. Now on uh, the navigation charts that I have, it says restricted zone, presidential cottage. Now his cottage is worth 1.2 billion US dollars. Um, anywho, I'm not sure if we're about to even see it. Apparently when he's at home, there's a, um, a warship parked out the front and uh, you can't go anywhere near it. But uh, we're going in fairly close to the bay. Um, he even had the bay that the palace is uh, built in. Um, carved into the shape of the moon crescent from the Turkish flag, so uh, the whole bay was built for him. So uh, yeah, really hanging out for a swim, we even had a swim in Bodrum, it's just been a bit yuck. And the water's looking beautiful and it's so hot today, I think we must be 35 degrees still. And. Um, and finally the wind has just died down and that's what it said on the weather charts that this end of the bay would be died down you know uh, gentle because back in Bodrum it was 35 knots or 30 knots gusting and not very pleasant so um, yeah somewhere up there is Erdogan's Bay
Well, early start again this morning. We're heading off to uh, back to Bodrum to see Silka and uh, Nina. Um, probably some unfavourable winds again today, so an early start is good. It's about three, four hours sail motor all the way back. So, um, fingers crossed for some decent wind. just after a um, pretty lumpy ride and 20 Turkish Air Force going past uh, a lumpy ride and 25 knots of wind uh, into the wind a bit bashy we've just had a message from Silka that Nina is getting uh, discharged in about one hour so we're on a uh, motoring mission into the wind to get back to Bodrum uh, we're nearly there pick them up so I need to get some bags and organize a taxi and uh, organize some shopping and get a bottle of Raki for our wonderful doctor and be awesome to see them um, be really interesting to see what Lucy thinks uh, of the reunion when when Nina comes aboard again so uh, yeah kind of kind of nice to have everyone back again Luca and I are off to get Nina, our last trip to the hospital. Thank goodness. Let's work out where we're going down these alleys. So this is the last antibiotic trip going all the way into that arm and that little person. And what are you doing? Making a card? Yeah, for the nurse doctor. It's pretty amazing, hey? Yeah, he's really nice. Did he come in yesterday? Yeah, he did and it was his day off. And and his daughter came in. Yeah, and his daughter came in and gave me these little presents, and it was really nice. She was nice. She's the same age as me. She's 11. We're pretty lucky to have such a nice doctor. So yeah. Nina's making the car, and we've bought a nice bottle of Raki. And last day in, the, in this room. Into the boat. Yay. Hooray. That's so hard.
Hahaha 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 Oh, look at that So on our weekly state of living on a boat we now have a broken fridge and some local guys have just come aboard to get it all running for us and we've had all sorts of things replaced and now we're back down to the last thing which is basically um, a whole new fridge uh, components which is a compressor so they're just gassing up now and hopefully it'll keep running. Excuse the noise, we're making um, <clears throat> water at the moment, so the generator's going and the water maker's going. And right now I'm making some bread, as I often do. I've made uh, two loaves. One and two. And the hideous noise in the background is a uh, goulet. i show you. They seem to enjoy um, playing really loud music and I'm not sure how anyone enjoys it but anywho, getting back to the bread, we've, I've got into a little habit of making um, donuts. So I make the bread and I also leave a little bit of dough left over because it's a similar consistency. And so this is what I use and I make little donuts. I'll do that now. They're small little dobs, they're terribly uneven. Thank <laughs> you. 